Good morning everyone, it's Rachel here. Sorry, just looking around. Um, and I am going to um, do a little bit like little fabric bits and pieces um, to add to journal cards and that sort of thing. And so um, I thought that would be fun. So we're going to have our needle and thread, but you could just um, glue and then stitch with your sewing machine if you wanted to. But it's going to be very simple. I'm going to pull out these little pieces here. We'll use all our little scraps. Um, let's get into those. I might get this one out as well. Um, what else do I have there? No, okay, I'll leave the rest. So I'll pull those out. I've got my, I want to do some more um, painted fabric actually. Oh, I didn't put those away. Okay, I've got my threads. I've got this one that has red and then I've got some perlay cottons. I don't think I've got any red in the perlay cottons, but I've got lots of greens if I want to use those. Um, I have, you know, these that have seem to be a staple at the moment on my table and I don't use them that much. And some buttons although i don't like putting buttons too much i might get these really old ones that i have look at that three dollars in this gorgeous old jar at the antique market and see they're very flat these ones i might use those if i decide to put buttons um i've got paper obviously put that on over there and then what else could we need while i'm standing i've got thread um Anything else? Okay, oh, I've got my um, I've got my bag of ribbons as well. I might use some of those. So I don't normally do these things, do I? I don't normally do. I had a bit of. I didn't know whether this is some beautiful old um, linen. I wonder if I want to use that or do I want to stamp it or put that aside. I have bits in here, bits of fabric as well that can like that would be very nice because it's all. I like it when it's grungy. Um, I've got some hand dyed stuff there and all these little bits and pieces I like the scrappy bits that's why they're in this basket We've got bits of lace there I'm not going to use that that's that's a Sanderson I love that I'm hoarding that one I'm still hoarding it I'll, I'll, I'll stop hoarding it eventually but at the moment I'm still in it's still Hordesville that's what I like to call it there's a bit of lace we can use a bit of that that's not my hole I don't know where my hole's gone so pull out all these. Oh, no, I won't use that. Pull out some bits and pieces from here that we can use. Even that. A bit out of my comfort zone, really, because I don't normally do these things. Radio. That was a bit Aussie, wasn't it? Rightio. That's that's what I'm, I know. I've told you this before. That step or Steffi when he first went to Australia, that totally freaked him out. Hearing people say that, he didn't know what it meant. Okay, so. Do I want to do okay I guess I'll start with a a base piece um, get a rip I like ripping and I don't I don't think I want that zigzag seam there the no, what is it the whatever you call it I can't remember and then we're just gonna need some I want them to be fast I don't want to think about them too much oh goodness oh it might be my father-in-law here I might have to stop the video. I want them to be fast. Is it your dad's there? Put that one there. Not enough colour in it. We'll add some green behind, I think. So that just adds a little bit of texture in my mind. Yes, I like that. That's pretty. Okay, I'm going to pause the okay, video. Okay, I'm back. It's been about 15 minutes since the last video. Just while my father-in-law was talking, I just stitched around there with this. So this is what I would class um, as a pinky red, as opposed, um, because it goes, um, it's got more blue in it, so it's more pink. Whereas this red here that I have, which is super cute fabric, this is a Lessian fabric from Japan. Um, this fabric is an orangey red. It's got more yellow in it. You can see the difference in colour. So there you go. That clarifies that. Um, and here, this fabric has more pinky reds in it. Anyway, so I've stitched that one. That can stick onto a page or something like that. But I think I need to make them 
um, a little bit smaller because if I want to put them onto, um, I should have ripped that. Um, if I want to put them onto the edge, just say like I'm starting to prepare some journal cards here. If I wanted like that's, I mean, that's going to be very, I won't put it on this one because I've got that lovely bit there, but that's quite big, although that'd be quite pretty, but it's quite big. So I think I need to make them smaller. That can go on a page. Oops. Oh, I just threw it on the floor. Like, you know, if I wanted to put it on there. So that's from my original ephemera kit. Okay. So I'm going to do some smaller ones, I think. Just grab some little bits and pieces here. Oh, there is a direction for the fabrics, um, you know, in which way they'll tear. Just trying to see. I've got lots of little bits in here that I can faff about with as well. Just put that there. See, that's cute. I like that. Now, you could quickly whiz along there and um, machine stitch. Um, or you could just maybe sort of, I might just do with this, while I've got this thread here, I might just do a little running stitch along the center. And that to me is enough. See? I mean, you could really go to town and do rows and rows of stitches if you wanted to. Depends how much time you've got. Right, of course, you know, my thread has unthreaded. Because we've got so much time, don't we? So anyway, my father-in-law, he's very sweet. Um, he's a bit of a he's a bit of a wag at times. He's been he's had fun in his life. He's he's a bit of a cheeky one. Um, but he's I I really have great um affection for him. And um, um because he's a lot of fun. And um so he's he's passionate about cars. And he, my car, as I've told you before, is sort of falling apart around me, like the, the body of the car. And because um, it's so old and it's done like 210,000 kilometers and um, it needs to be changed. My mother-in-law, <laughs> oh dear sweet mother-in-law, she thinks I'm going to keep it for another 100,000 kilometers. She's got another thing coming. Um, and anyway, so... Um, that's not going to rip. So, um, it, it, the, you know, the, the gears, the, the little ball on the top where you have all of the first gear, second gear, third gear and that it, it's fallen apart. So we've, I, I, we put it back on. Um, I love this. We've put it back on with, um, with, um, can't get my words out with some, um, what's the word? Oh, electrical tape. That's what we put. We put some electrical tape Maybe I'll have that without that. And I'm going to use just some plain thread. Don't have to use colored thread. I'm just going to put an X. Maybe we'll put a button. Um, yeah, we put it back together with electrical tape. My father-in-law did it because he couldn't stand me because I'm hopeless. I don't, I don't worry about those things like I would. Um, and he just put, you know, fix it all, fix it all for me. So that's good. I think I'll put that there. That's, I like that. And I might put a button. Although I don't want them to be too thick, do I? Let's see how thin these buttons are. That one's pretty thin. It's very old and consumed. Um, yep, so he took, he he ordered a, um, and also he's one of those people, they, you know, he'll go to the, um, some special place and he'll get, not the expensive one, like he'll get a, I don't know what you call it, the car yard, I don't know. Anyway, I can't find the hole. There it is. Um, so he's just taken my car to... He has, he has friends everywhere. He has this friend who he works at Citron. That's what my car is. And um, he works there and he... Um, on the weekends, he does extra work. He's an engineer, car engineer, and mechanical engineer, I should say. And so um, anyway, he took it to be fixed. And then the guy said, there's all, all kinds of problems in the car. So, you know, uh, I was at great risk of my turbo engine being ruined and then you would not replace it because they cost a fortune. So um, we've just asked him to um, give us a quote to do all the work. I said to my father-in-law, just get him to do it. It has to be done. There we go. That was quick. Um, so, yep, 
that's that's going to happen. He's going to get it fixed. And then I said to my father-in-law, I said, we need to change that car. We can't keep it for another 100,000 kilometres. And he said, oh, yes, you have to change it. And we said, um, but Steph's mum thinks I'm going to keep it forever. So I said, don't tell her. <laughs> don't tell her. We're going to change the car next year because it's really, uh, honestly, I reckon at some point in time, I'm going to end up on foot. Lulu and I will be driving home from school and we'll end up walking home because the car conked out. That's what's going to happen. So, um, you know, I'm over it. And, the, I mean, you know, it's a bit, it's, it's getting old. It's a bit of a tank. We feel, Lulu and I feel like we're in a tank that's going to about to fall apart. So, like my side panel where my, my, my door is, it's totally bare. It doesn't even have the, the panel on it because I'm supposed to get the 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 window fixed and and the little man down the road um, who was going to fix it for me. Um, when we went away, actually, in, in to Florence, um, they rang me and they, they forgot. They forgot to um, call me and tell me that they had the piece had arrived. And then Steph went back to work. And then I just found it really hard to just go and leave my car there because I always need it. And so I haven't been, and so my father-in-law is going to take it. So there you go. It's a, it's a good father-in-laws can be very kind at times. I'm getting on my green bits here. And that's fun. Let's use this with what? I'm not even digging down here into all these little bits that I've got. I'll put that and that, and I'm just going to do. Um, I might get some green. What about some green? Who'd like a bit of green? This is a nice green. These are all DMC Perle cottons. I have no clue, no clue whatsoever what um, their colour number is because I, I, well, first of all, they come in a ball and they sort of fall out of the ball. And then also um, I've rolled them on there and I didn't write the numbers down because I'd lost the numbers already. So that's why. I'm just going to do a running stitch all the way along here. I mean, these are such such easy things to do, really easy peasy, and um, and can just add that little element of texture. And you could then take it and glue it onto, you know, a paper background if you wanted to. We might maybe we'll stitch a little bit of paper into some of them as well. Why not? It's all good. And as I said, if you want to go super fast. You can, um, you can machine stitch. But I do like that little touch of hand stitching every so often. But we don't have a lot of time to do the hand stitching, do we? So we need to, um, we need to do things quickly. Okay, what's next? Put my knot there. Maybe we'll use some of this. Oh, here's another piece. This piece is better, I think. Again, I don't want them to be too big. I want them to be little and not taking up too much space. Do we have anything in here to use up? We have plenty of stuff here. I don't really have much. Oh, there's a oh, there's a ruffle. I've got a I need to make maybe we need to make some ruffles. I've got a drawer of ruffles. Um this is kind of like a use a bit of that for texture um i'm gonna get some more red going just keep and maybe you know a good way to go a little bit faster is if you have um two need or two or three needles threaded with what you think you might like to use um don't you love it just yanked it um there's nothing precious here now where is it there it is too um, now I need to find another. I'm not lacking for needles here. I just got it's just a bit of a mess. That's all. Here we go. We've got one. It's bent. They're all bent except for the thick rods. They're not bent because you can't bend those because they're rods. Um, yeah, keep a few needles threaded so that way you can you actually work faster that way. I'll put these up here so I don't lose them. And what will we put behind this one? And have that. Don't think I like that. Take that off. You can go away. 
and what about a piece of hemp? I'm keeping the colours fairly, you know, not too, not too over the top. And here, I'm going to, I think I'll just do a running stitch. X's would have been nice. Maybe I should have done more X's. I don't want you to unthread. I think I'll go um, into this piece as well. And there we're done. Do I need to come back and do another row? Maybe I will. It's fairly quick. They're big stitches. I'm not worrying about the size of my stitches. It's nothing perfect. Okay, I've gone quiet while I concentrate. I think I'm going to break the rule. Normally you'd say you have to do three. You don't have to do anything. You can do what you feel like. I think I'm just going to do two. Oh no, maybe I'll, I've, I'm not break. I can't, I'm, see, I'm a, a rule follower. I have to follow the rules. I'm going to do three, but I'm going to stop there. So it's shorter. And see, I had the beige on the beige on the blue, the Christmas blue. But um, when you put the red there, there you go. You get a bit of festivity going on there. Okay. I just do two knots, even though there'll be some glue going on there. So that I hold all your stitches as well. Remember that. Put a knot in here again, ready to go. So for example, you know, I have these to make up and we'll do those one day. And then you can add something like that. So I think I need to make them even a bit, even that one. Put that one on there as the topper. Oh, I like that, for example. So I need to make some smaller ones. They need to, we need to keep them not too big. If you want to use them on, like the bigger ones can go on the edges of pages, but the the smaller ones can be used then on um, tags. Not that one. We use green again. Put the green there, and the lace on top, like that. And go. We'll have to use the red again, and. I just do some X's here. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Good thing to sit like to have all your maybe have a couple of little trays of different things you can choose from maybe even rip them up into small pieces before you start and then you can just grab bits as you go and um and um oh i like that just grab bits as you go and make them while you're sitting in front of the telly Okay, so that's done. So I'll thread another one. It's good to have things ready. I think I've got a bit of a knot here. Oh, that's okay. Because I ripped it. I wasn't very gentle with my poor thread. Oh, I haven't. I forgot to get my trims. Let's get some trims. 
And then let's get, oh, I like this. I love this. This is lovely. Snip. Oh, look at that mess. Oh, that's a terrible mess. I should have done. Should have, would have, could have. I should have done it over the basket. Oh, well. So here we can have this. And there's another pinky red. See that? Right. These are super old Christmas fabrics, these ones. Um, no, it's too big. Let's make it even smaller. Let's make some small ones. Put that there. Um, little piece of this. Make that. No, underneath, I think. And I'm a bit nervous about using buttons. I don't normally use them, as I said, because they, I don't know where my other needle's gone with the other thread in it, because <laughs> I'm in a bit of a mess here. Um, they're a bit thick. No, that's not, it's not even gonna go through. Okay, I'm not gonna use a button. Oh, what I could do, instead of a button, I could just have a little piece of this. Because I feel like it needs another layer. But threads everywhere. So just make sure you um, capture all your bits. Because otherwise they won't stay together. I'm just going to put a little X there. Rather than a button, we'll have a little X. And in hindsight, green might have been better. A better choice, but we've done red. Like two two X's. Maybe I'll do three. <laughs> and if you don't want bits like that flopping up, you can put a bit of glue there if you want to. That's not the worst thing in the world. Cute. A little bit of sparkle. I'm going to use some more of that. Where is it? Oh, over here. Let's grab another piece. And I'm going to just stitch across. Wonder what they're doing down in our garage. I'm going to stitch, do a few more rows of stitching here. Just jump up here and do a row up here just to hold it all down. Just put your stitches everywhere. Could even do just seed stitches, which are just stitches going in every direction. Can we do more trims? Let's see what other trims I have. Oh, I have this. However, this is quite hard to glue, isn't it? This is hard to glue. What can I do with it? I can stitch it on top. Let's use a piece of that. I'll just put it on my lap. Put it on your lap. 
and then we've got this piece and maybe a bit of red behind a bit of red on top Oh, I wanted that to be on something though because it's it doesn't stick. So maybe we'll get our tea dyed fabric again. Something like that. Or do I prefer this? I might prefer this. I think I do. And I'm going to go with the green. And I'm just going to put... What am I going to do? I'm just going to put a big X cool see anybody can do this anybody even if you're not a sewer anybody can do it there and then I love this gold trim I had it in green last year I don't think I've got it anymore and this was one of my favorite when I was making Christmas stockings in the day this was one of my favorite fabrics I used to love it even just like that Just two pieces. Just make up whatever stitches you feel like. Just make sure you don't tug them too tight so that it all curls or anything like that. Don't tell me I'm going to do it again. Just call me do it again, Rachel. Don't do it again. So how is everybody today? How rude of me. I didn't ask anyone how they are. I hope everybody is well and crafting away. And and um, coping, shall we say. Right, got it. And they are, I mean, honestly, they are so simple that I think they can be really cute on things. Really, really, really cute. And I would glue that, and then when I stitch around, um, I think I like that one on there. And then you stitch around and, and you catch it as well to make sure it stays. So just giving you an eye. Oh, look at that. I love that. That's yummy. So let's make more. Right. What else can we do? We can avoid unthreading. Certainly. Another cute thing I thought might be. I don't know. I usually do this with felt. But felt I think is going to be a little bit thick. Um, for what we're doing. Keep that. So you can cut, see I cut a little rectangle, then I cut my top, this is going to be a little holly leaf, like that. Then I cut the centre, like so, curving my sisters, uh, my sisters, <laughs> my skizzers, my scissors as I go. And then I cut the point down there, and I cut the point down there, and I've got a cute little holly leaf. That is so easy, I can't tell you how easy, so cut your little rectangle. We'll do it again, around, around, and around, center, and there we go, there's another one, and we'll do a different green, because we have to have a different green, why not, um, just seeing how to cut it, 
that's going to be big. We don't want it that big. And a little one around, around, around. And I just kind of adjust it as I go. Took me years to figure that out. Okay, and then we need little circles for our berries. So what I do is I cut a square, kind of a square. It's a sort of square. And then you go around. I don't want them that big though. And I'm pulling my fabric around. I'm not moving my scissors. Oh, you probably can't even see. I'll have to do it all again. I don't know if you could see. I Because it... I naturally pull it towards me. I'll, I'll do another holly leaf for you just in case you didn't see it. Pull, pull it around. Around we go. Okay. And we'll grab another green. And I'll do a, I'll do a bigger holly leaf for you. So you cut your rectangle. Start in the center there. Around. Like that. And to the center over there. Kind of. You just adjust it. it. Takes a bit of practice, but you get there in the end. And there we go. We've got that wonky holly leaf. There we go. So, what will I do? Oh no, I need another berry. Just a minute. We're not done. We need another berry. So cut a square, a kind of square. It's all very much kind of. And you pull your fabric around. And do your circle. Sometimes they come out a bit wonky, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so those are my circles. I like to have a different, different color. And what am I going to put them on? I might put them on that trim. Let me see what other trims I've got. It's a bit of a mess, the bag, so it's kind of hard to tell. I've got this piece of velvet here. They'll kind of be lost on the velvet, I think, though, because it's red. Um, got this one. This one's cute. I put it on there. Put that on something else. So it's got. So it's a little bit more stable. Let's rip this. I love the edge on this. I like the edge there. So we can put that on there and there. It doesn't really matter to me which is the right side. Then I get my little holly leaves. I've never done this before with fabric for a journal. Put your little holly leaves like that. You can have two or three. So first I'll work out my composition if I want two or three. So this is obviously, how about that, with just one berry. Or you can have three berries and two leaves like that. I think I like it, just one berry and three leaves. So what I'm going to do is, is this attached to a needle? It is, yay. I'm just going to, to make my life easier, first of all, I'm going to put a knot in my thread. Okay, and to make my life easier, I'm just going to um, sort of get this to stay in place. I'm just going to do some random stitches kind of invisible sort of stitches all the way around very quickly it's very quick business just little little teeny tiny running stitches um, not too close together that's all you need to hold it in place Because you're going to be fiddling with the leaves and stuff. So you want you don't want to be messing about with this flopping about everywhere. Very technical terms here on this channel. They're very technical. Oh, and I've got a knot. Of course you do. Last stitch, you get a knot. Fixed it. Righty-ho. Okay. Okay, and the other thing I'm going to do before I continue on is I'm going to put that like that. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put a few stitches in, in the base of it just to hold it for a second. 
because I do not want it to move about. Just one stitch or two stitches. Let's put two stitches because they're going to be covered by the berry anyway. And then I'm going to put this one here. Like so. What fun. I'm having fun. I like it when I have fun. Did anybody notice? There. And I'll just end that off. I can't tell you how many of these holly things on, on those stockings I used to make. My goodness. I used to, but I used to cut them out of, out of felt so that way they wouldn't fray. Um, but I put so many little hollies and berries on things. It was never ending. Um, I could use that colour. I think I'd like to use a darker. I'm going to use a darker green. I like to put a darker green down the centre of the holly. I just do. And what do I have? Oh, that's got beige. We'll get rid of you. Now I'm talking to the thread. See, we're dealing with um, thread and fabric today, so I'm talking to the thread. I've got to talk to something. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a little running stitch down the centre so I don't have to end my thread off like... In my, a lot of people would start here and go there and then you have to end your thread off and then you have to come back here so I don't have to do that I'm going to even though you have your big knot there it doesn't matter I'm just going to start there and wiggle my way along like a caterpillar off we go do little stitches isn't that cute and this thought just came to me right now when I was doing another one how about that there and then I can go up the next one, you see, without stopping. Which is always great if you don't have to stop. It's not a bad thing. And I like the dark green. Okay. Right. And then I can just end it off here. I'll just slip under my stitch there and catch a little bit of the fabric and put a knot and then I'll go and do another one just to be sure. Although, even if it were to come undone, the holly wouldn't fall off because we've already stitched it down with the other thread. And then, it's really easy to put the berry on. Oh, isn't that cute? I've got two berries there. That'd be right. So, you just get your red. And what I do is, I put a big X in the centre and that is it. But you can see why it makes life easier if everything else is sort of already stitched down and not bothering you. There we go. How cute is that? Cute little holly. Saw how quick that was. That's cute. Can go in any direction. Doesn't matter. That direction. Oh, I don't like it that way. I like it that way, that way, or that way. Or you could even have a... Th oh, I forgot. I was going to put a third one, wasn't I? Oh, well, I like it with two anyway. We'll just leave this one with two. So that's that one. Gosh, I'm forgetful. Very forgetful. Okay, so let's grab, we haven't used any of this. Um, I've got the Christmas trees that I stamped. I did this last year. I'm going to grab a piece of this. Oopsie. Oh, here's Steffi again. I might stop the video and then I'll come back and finish it. I'll be back okay, soon. Okay, so I'm back. I can't stay for long because... They've taken Lulu down. She's going out to lunch with um, Steph's cousin's daughter and her friends. And so um, Steph and his dad have taken Lulu. And so they'll be back. And I'm watching the lunch. I better not burn it because, you know, my father-in-law will be here having fresh tomato pasta. Um, and so, um, yep, yeah, I'll have to go off and manage that. I wonder what one would look like with one leaf. No, it's a bit sad with one leaf, isn't it? 
lovely. Oh, it's so cute. I really like it. Okay, so I'll get my plain thread. Where have you gone? Oh, I just, just pick it up. You see, it's got a needle attached to it, so that's the one. And we'll just do a little bit of quick stitching here to hold it all in place. Um, so Lily's going out to lunch with Steph's cousin's daughter and her friends from school. Um, and they're a year older. And guys, there might be a, a boy involved. I'm not sure. We'll find out today. She doesn't know. I mean, like, you know, they know each other virtually, not um, personally. But um, he's one of her, um, we'll, we'll say her, it's her second cousin. It's one of her best friends from class. So I guess it's all right. So they've taken her down there. And she's going to have sushi for the first time, which I'm sure she won't like. Because she only likes a few things in Chinese, so you can imagine sushi. But I said to her, you might be able to get tempura prawns or something like that. You'll like those. Um, and so I'm watching the lunch. <laughs> and I better not stuff it up. So it's fresh tomato pasta. And Steph is the king of making fresh tomato pasta. You wouldn't believe it. You'd think it was the simplest thing ever i cannot make the, the, the tomato sauce as yummy as he does there's a whole technique to it so um and my mother-in-law is up at the um house in the country which was um her her parents house when she that's where she grew up they've still got the house even though the, her, her parents aren't there anymore but she goes up there and so um we said to steph's dad stay and eat with us I will say we are, I'm doing. just going to have a look this way. I think I'm going to put them there. We are, no, I'll put it this way. We are um, keeping our masks on um, with Steph's dad being in the house because we don't want him to get sick or anything like that because, you know, we just don't know. So we'll only take them off um, when we eat. Okay, we have a long winter in front of us, guys. All of us in the Northern Hemisphere have a long winter ahead. So, um, lucky Aussies, I can tell you that. You've gone into the nice season. And in Australia, the, 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 the summer season is wonderful in the sense that it's long. It's, you know, you, I mean... Now this one, oh, am I going to start there? I don't want to start there because I'll have my knot flying around because it's gone off the fabric. So I'll have to, I will have to end my fabric off. Um, yeah, they have a wonderful summer season. Like it's already warm. They've already had lots of warm days. Basically, I mean, see, I, was, I, was, I can only speak for Sydney. Like obviously Queensland is hotter and then further south it's cooler a bit longer. Um, but um, so in Sydney it's fairly warm already from September and I mean you have lovely days right up until June I mean I remember before we came back here to get married I um we went swimming in June at Bondi Icebergs I was blue when I got out of the water because it was the water it was 24 degrees outside I remember I still remember it isn't it funny the things you remember um it was 24 degrees outside because I was a swimmer that was our chosen um, form of exercise when we were 30 because in Australia the pools open at five o'clock in the morning a lot of them so you can go and have a good old swim before you start work it's a nice way to start the day um, anyway so and sometimes um, on the weekend no definitely on the weekends we would um, go swimming at Bondi Icebergs because it's outside it's a saltwater pool it's really nice and um and so I remember Steffi said it was a lovely day and he's like come on let's go for a swim and he made me walk all the way down to Bondi it was quite a long walk it took us more than an hour and um and um and then we went swimming and I gotta tell you the water was about 16 degrees I think it was freezing and I was blue and it took me all day to um to warm up let's just say that it was pretty cold. I did my, I swam my kilometer or whatever. We swam two kilometers, um, but I got out shaking. I did go numb, but it was pretty. Yeah, it was cold. It really was cold. And we were sharing a house with my sister then. That was fun. There we go. So that's that.
So I think I'll show you quickly um, what I've done because I have to go and stir the pasta or I'll be in trouble. Um, and, um, and also they're going to ring me 10 minutes before they get back so I can put the pasta in so it'll be ready when they get here. So I better go and pay attention to that or I'll be in the poo. Excuse the expression, I'll be in the poo. Okay, so we've done two with Holly. I need to do some more. I'll probably sit, come back and prepare some bits so I can sit and do that. So we've got those. And then I love that one for some reason. I think I love all the texture and the sparkle larkles. And then this one here, I love that one too. See, they're very scrappy. They really are scrappy, but isn't it? It's fun. I like scrappy, messy things. It's that one. I probably could have a few more rows of stitching on there. There's one with a button. I'm not going to do too many button ones because buttons are, are bulky. Bulky buttons. There's that one there. That was really fast. Yeah, I, like, I really like that one. And then this here with that fun fabric that won't stick to anything. Oh no, see, it's a very fray. It's a very fray um, trim. There's that one there. Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> And then we have this one. Very simple. How fast was that? And then that was the first one. That's a bit more elaborate. It's got the rectangle there stitched. So there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed that and you get making super simple clusters. We didn't add any paper, but you can add paper. I love the Holly ones, so I'm going to be doing more of those. And I hope you have a wonderful Saturday and I will see you again soon. Bye.